In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. I will talk about a topic I fear to talk about myself because it's full of mysteries. God the disciplinarian. How does God discipline us? Does every sin have disciplinary action? Are there rules for discipline? There are many questions I can't answer myself. As long as we talk about getting ready for heaven, we must talk about discipline. God disciplines his sons so they go to heaven. We get spoiled sometimes, and consequently, God will use the rod of discipline. This is a universal rule that applies to all of us. However, one may need the rod to return to God, while someone else doesn't return by such means. For some, the rod is made out of wood, while for others, the rod is steel. The Bible talked about discipline a lot. Even if we still don't understand some things, this is a biblical rule. The psalm says, The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Psalm 118. He means eternal death. God doesn't fear for a person's physical death, but for his eternal death. He does everything, but he doesn't let you go to hell, unless you insist. He will discipline you to prevent you from perishing. He accepts disciplining you, and maybe you get upset with him, but he wants to prevent you from perishing. He has not given me over to death. Discipline closes the door of hell for us. Jeremiah said, I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself. You have chastised me, and I was chastised like an untrained bull. Restore me, and I will return, for you are the Lord my God. Ephraim was the most stubborn tribe. People can't ride the untrained bull. The owner keeps beating and trying to discipline it. Restore me, and I will return. The result of discipline is repentance. If you didn't repent by gentleness, then he will let you repent by force. He doesn't intend to break you, but to make you repent by force to keep you from going to hell. We pray every day in the psalm, O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chasten me in your hot displeasure. Discipline me, God, but don't be upset or angry. I accept the discipline, but can't accept you being upset or angry with me. We don't reject discipline. Hebrews 12:7. If you endure chastening, God deals with you as with sons. For what son is there whom a father does not chasten? Did your child leave the house because you disciplined him? No. He stayed and maybe will thank you one day. You were hurting when you did so, and so did he. But it was necessary. God does this. He is in pain more than us when he disciplines us. Hebrews 12.8 But if you are without chastening, of which all have become partakers, then you are illegitimate and not sons. We are special. We have heaven, blessings, and discipline too.